The only way he can be brought back is by calling his name three times. Beetlejuice. 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 It's showtime. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Super huge disclaimer, this video is actually filmed after the next video you're gonna see in this series. But this is my punk rock inspired Beetlejuice. Um, I loved doing this look. I love the movie Beetlejuice. I love Michael Keaton and I think he's got a great sense of humor. If you guys would like to see how I did my tutorial, please keep watching. All right, this feels weird. I don't know when you guys have ever actually seen me with my hair down and like straight. We're gonna prime, per usual, the matte primer from Wet n Wild. My face is a little red. That's because I just used so much hazel on it. And it's about to get a whole lot redder now. What we're gonna do is take the Manic Panic Dream Tone and we're gonna take my concealer. This is gonna, we're gonna do the concealer first though. Because I'm kind of winging it on this one. I'm not doing any sort of foundation, I'm going to say. So I'm going to put concealer down first and then I'm going to mix some of my foundation in with my concealer because they have almost the same consistency. So this is the CoverGirl Clean Concealer in Fair. It's like $7 a bottle and I don't want to buy any more. I am pale. So the reason I did it with an oval brush is because it has less pull than a regular brush essentially. So you can tap it on and that's what I wanted because it'll soak up in a sponge versus an actual brush. Our eyebrows. Green color from the Milani palette. It's a little, little shimmery. Um, if you have one that's more matte but about the same color, you can use that, but I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows because that's the same color my wig is, actually. I'm just gonna follow my natural eyebrow hair. It's gonna look super, super weird, though, but I like doing this before I set my actual makeup so that it kind of sticks to the foundation more versus it not really taking any color at all. Impressed. These came out pretty good. We're gonna set my face with just some normal setting powder. Honestly, if you want to get a more opaque look, you can use a white setting powder, which a lot of people use. I just currently don't have it on hand. I used to use baby powder, honestly, because my face is that oily. <laughs>
try to contour. I don't think it's gonna happen very well. It's the Hard Candy Outer Space Meteorized Baked Glitter Eyeshadow. This is 278 Outer Space. I'm gonna tap this super, super light. We're gonna start in on our eyes, finally. Going in with the trusty, trusty Maybelline Too Cool color tattoo. So I'm gonna go back to this palette. Well, I'm gonna lay down some of this purple right here with one of these because it's just gonna go in our crease anyway. Super light because this purple tends to actually have a ton of pigment. A lot of the um, looks that I've seen are purple based because he's got like blackish purplish eyes but I don't want to do it so much like how theirs are. I kind of want to be off in this realm. We're gonna go in with Ulta Fabulous Face Palette with this Zealous color. And it's a darker, more mauve style purple. Um, a lot of people who make purple palettes, they're not very great and they're not very pigmented. Sometimes they're mostly black versus purple, which kind of blows. I'm gonna go in with the darker color now. Pro Fusion Palette in Glitterazzi Crimson and Slate. As you can tell it's been through some rough times. Dark, dark slate color right here. Super light, super gentle. Tip my head back and do this or tip my head to the side. Yes, that's how I clean things up. So to blend that out, I'm actually going to go back in with that original purple I was working with only because I'm noticing that it's not blending with the second purple I put down very well. I'm going to throw some eyeliner on, elf cream or gel, I don't know what it is, liner in black. And I This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. I'm surprised this thing hasn't died on me yet. Cross fingers. to do some bottom black liner. We're going to take that green and actually do the bottom parts. You can use the other green if you want to, but it's this green right here. some options for you guys. A lot of these are liquid lipsticks actually so if you find a better alternative you can use those. I swatched on my hands here so this first one is this liquid lipstick by Colourpop Bedazzled and it's more of like a reddish purple light hard candy. It's just a regular matte lipstick. This is their Fierce Effects collection. I actually got this on clearance so um, this is Envy. This is a forest green color which you can do if you want. I personally didn't like it on myself so I'm not going to do that. Also by Colourpop this is called Guess. 
and it is a black and purple. You can't really tell until you have it on in certain lights. A lot of people think it's blue, a lot of people think it's just straight up black and it's not. It's a black and purple. From the Lime Crime, I think Velveteen's collection? I don't know, AJ gave me a lot of these so I'm not entirely sure. This is Cement. This is a gray color, which is the color I will be using in this tutorial today. Not one of my favorites. It's by Maybelline. This is also just a regular lipstick that you can get at Walmart. This is a drugstore um, version, or the hard candy, also a drugstore version. This is 835 Sapphire Siren. This is in their bold collection. It's more of a royal purple. Now, the only reason I didn't choose that is because there's a lot in the purple region going on. So I needed a color to kind of break this up. This is a liquid matte. Learning the almond nails and wig caps don't go together. Normally, I don't worry about, you know, wearing a wig cap because a lot of the wigs I have are longer. This isn't really the one I actually wanted at first, but um, I liked it. And it goes with our look. This is by S. No Light. This is from Amazon. So this is my final punk rock Beetlejuice look. Um, I actually have a white leather jacket that I'm going to buy. Which I think this really does make the look. Personally, you can just go with the shirt, whatever, like that. That's, that's all you. I'm really taking this look. This originally wasn't the wig I was going for, but I can work with it. Definitely. So this is my punk rock inspired Beetlejuice. If you guys like this look, please give me a thumbs up down below. If you um, are planning on doing this, please let me know in the comments below. Tag me on Instagram at the Reject Queen. And if you guys want to stalk me anywhere else on social media for this season, my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook links are down below. Facebook.com slash I the Night Art. Um, as I mentioned, we we're going to be doing a giveaway at the end of this series, once I find the thing I'm actually giving away, because it's still kind of packed in the box. This jacket was actually from the thrift shop. This shirt is actually from Walmart. Um, they just put these out, so I'm pretty sure you guys still have time to go pick it up by the time this video actually does come out. My pants, I was gonna wear my white pants, but I currently can't get to them right now, and there's some black electrical tape and uh, some black combat boots, but maybe, it's not gonna happen in this video, but I'll post a photo of if I end up getting to wear this or a party or something like that. Be sure to stay tuned for the rest of this series. I have plenty more tricks and treats coming out. Other than this tutorial, this by far has been the most fun tutorial to actually do. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay spooky. I won't do.